Melissa coming to you with another video. So today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to give it, you a tutorial on Canva and I'm going to be showing you specifically how you can remove the background for any picture that you have. Now our designs when we are using them for marketing materials on out of school is really important and I found that using their size dimensions that they mentioned was really glitchy and it just didn't work and when I tried to upload some pictures that they had from their free site that they're connected with the pictures were awful and I couldn't really find pictures that really stood out so a simple way of doing this is just to use a YouTube thumbnail it's worked really well for me and another thing that I found out as well recently because I am on the free trial is that if you are a school teacher so working in a B&M school and you can prove it by uploading your credentials and your license then you can actually use Canva for free so I will be doing that that's a tip that I literally only found out two days ago so you will have this here so your YouTube thumbnail that's that's already there and luckily it it matches perfectly for what OutSchool are looking for. You might want to say create a design. Let's think about what type of design that you want. So if we just go to backgrounds here, I'm going to find a nice background that I think I would like to use. I might just use this sky background there because I, I like the color pink. Pink's one of my favorite colors. As grown as I am, it still is. Then if you go to elements, you can add anything you want in, in there, absolutely anything. So I think I'll just add some ice cream. Um, that's an animated one, but if you go here, you can choose static and apply filters there. I want a static picture for this one. So I'll just type ice cream. Maybe you're doing a class on ice cream and you want to put some in. Now, I'm just going to do, put something here just to show you. I'm not going to be doing the best sort of tutorial for it, but you can do different things. You can add different elements in like that. I might just put that because I want that popping a bit. And I might just add something like that there as well. So we, we know that it's all about ice cream. Just there. And we'll just have an array. Maybe I want to add in a rainbow as well. So I'll just add that rainbow in. So you just, I like the look of this one. Some of these elements are free. Some of them are not. They're on the pro account. So actually, I'm going to delete that one there. And I'll just add something like this in. So this is just super quick, just for an example. But I'm go now going to show you how you can put in a picture of yourself. So go to uploads where you will have uploaded an, an image of yourself. So I'm going to look for an image that I have of me. So I will choose this image there. See. That has a background on. And if I try to put that there, it really doesn't look fantastic. It doesn't look great. But if you click on it here and go to effects, and go to background remover, you will be able to remove the background. Now, this doesn't work with every picture. And Canva tells you that the, the more simple the background, the better. If the picture is too busy or if it's been encoded in a certain way, say if you've got something off the internet, then you won't be able to do it. But it really does make your promotional material and your branding look a lot cleaner because all of a sudden you've got that option now of changing that background for yourself. So you can put that there. If you want to add some text, you can add text to that as well. So you might want to put your, your name down here or the class name, but I would recommend steering clear of text purely because when out school advertise on Facebook, Facebook have 
this quota that they won't advertise your class or a campaign if it's got so much writing on. Now it has to match between that quota. I, I think it, and I can't remember what the details were. So you are risking it by putting writing up there. So with a lot of my materials, I've played it safe and I haven't used writing. On some of them, I have used writing. And all in all, I found that the ones that I have used writing on haven't been advertising as well. And that could be the reason why. So it's not really an out school policy, but more of a Facebook policy itself. But if you want to know, as we're here, how to add text, you would just rewrite in here, say, um, Ice cream challenge, if there is an ice cream challenge out there, I don't know what it would be. Just do that. You can go here to change the design of it as well. So I think I'll change the wording there. And you can even change the color too. If you just go to text of the color, you can change the color. I think black looks quite good, but you can change it to yellow. It's not really standing out, pink or lots of different colors, you have that option. So with changing the background here, that isn't a free option. That is something that's paid for. You can pay individually for little items on Canva, or you can just get their subscription. Or as I did mention, if you are a B&M teacher as well, then you can get this for free. Canva is a fantastic tool for branding material. So that is primarily my tip for this week and for today. If you did like this video, please smash that thumbs button because it really does help with the algorithm. And please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.